So, your LiftMaster or Chamberlain garage door opener remote transmitter is broken, no longer responding, or lost. And to make matters worse, your wall button to the garage door opener motor has taken a dump. Well, in this video, we're going to provide you some pro tips for a garage door smart control panel that would work with the LiftMaster and Chamberlain brand. And this upgrade might help you with your garage door remote transmitter issues. Let's party. Okay, party people, so we were here roughly about a month ago. We replaced those springs right up there. A lot to this door system is very custom. And what we're doing is we're gonna be upgrading some parts to the actual garage door opener motor. We're dealing with an Anaheim door garage door opener motor. It's basically a Craftsman LiftMaster Chamberlain product under the Chamberlain Group Corporation. Now keep in mind that with an Anaheim door, you're basically gonna be getting LiftMaster parts. That's probably the best way to go. And this particular model is kind of like uh, the old 1280 version. It's not very hard to find parts for this garage door opener motor. But what's specifically missing from this motor is a wall button and remote transmitters. So what are we gonna do here? Okay, there's a situation right there. We have no wall button to this garage door opener motor. So what do we want to do? There's a solution for this type of scenario. And one could easily just come with a regular standard wall button or just a regular doorbell wall uh, button and tack it on there. You could even go with the standard LiftMaster version, but um, well, there's actually a better solution. Okay, so here's our solution. We're coming up actually with this 889LM MyQ wall control panel. Now this happens to be the wall control panel that works on the red learn code button and the purple learn code button. This previously used to be known as the 888LM wall control panel, MyQ, MyQ control panel. Um, but there was a couple of issues, I believe, with the specific software built in that wall button. There was things like phantom operation. A number of issues um, were plaguing it. So they updated the software, they updated the control panel um, model name. And so basically, this is what we're going to be using for this garage door opener motor. In conjunction with that, we're actually going to be using the 893 Max. And this is actually not going to... Uh, be um, programmed to the actual garage door motor. It's actually going to be programmed to the wall button. We're going to show you how to do that. If you wanted a more universal remote that would work with other garage door opener motors, you're having to look at the 380UT. So this is specifically for LiftMaster. And by extension, you can use an easy, or you can easily use, I should say, the 893LM. This is not the max version. This will only work with the yellow learn code button. This will work with the red and purple. This just works with the yellow. So red, purple, yellow, just yellow. And we're going to program both of these to the 889LM. We'll do that right now. Okay, so what we're going to do and just basically kind of clean up this area. I didn't want to cut off too much from the other wall button, particularly just because, and I know it's not the cleanest guys, but there's really no other way to put this in here. I'm going to explain to the customer that, well, if they ever decide to put another garage door opener motor on the other side, well, they'll have sufficient wall button wire. Um, but this, I cut it through a little bit. I'm going to make sure that uh, I'm leaving a little bit of slack. Hey party people, Santiago from SOS Garage Door Service, and if you're getting any value out of this video, please hit that like button. Now, I have gone on record talking about the 885LM, the wireless control panel or wall button to the LiftMaster brand, and saying that basically this particular product can work with all of LiftMaster and Chamberlain garage door opener motors. And that's simply not true. In fact, the 885LM will specifically work with the Security Plus 2.0. So what that basically means is that this particular product will not work on your orange or purple learn code button. Now, by extension, your 800 series remote transmitters, wireless keypads, 
will work with the yellow learn code button, but the Mac series will also work with your orange and purple learn code button. Yeah, that's not confusing at all. Okay, so now we have the wall button up and unlike the Genie product that has two visible holes, you have to actually drill a hole or drill the screw in to place in the actual wall, wall button in order for it to fasten. And uh, well, I believe I got it fastened in there. Uh, seems pretty, pretty solid. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the motor and then from there we're gonna wait till this charges. So you see now how our wall button is blinking? Well, basically, there's somewhat of a built-in battery in this side. Now, it's not really a changeable or a reusable battery. It's just basically a type of power cell that will draw power from the motor. And what it's doing is it's waiting for it to charge up. So once this uh, light starts flashing, we'll only have the amber light, and then we're gonna hear a beep from it. This usually takes about five minutes. There we go, we heard it beep. So now we have just the amber light on. And so basically our wall button is technically powered. Now again, it doesn't really have a battery that's rechangeable or replaceable. It's kind of like a built-in cell that just powers it a little bit, but that's just to uh, give it enough power so that way it can work with the MyQ feature and with the motion sensor, the light, and other aspects to this garage door opener motor. Uh, or I should say wall button to the to the motor. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're just basically going to operate it once So based on the instructions, basically what we're going to do now is we're going to program our remote transmitters to our wall button. And so the way we do that, we're going to flip up right here and we're going to go into the learn, um, basically the learn feature. We're going to hit the learn button twice and we're going to see how the lights turned on. And all we're going to do is hold our wall button and we're going to hear the garage door opener click. So after that, we can close our little flap there and there we go. And we're gonna do the exact same thing for this LiftMaster remote. We're gonna hit the learn code button twice. Hold. We hear a click, put it down. And that's it. Now these two remotes are programmed to this garage door opener motor. We have a new wall button for this garage door opener motor. and it is operating normal. So there it is. We now got this garage door system up and running. Spring was broken. They needed a new bottom, bottom weather seal. And again, this is this composite wood. It's an older door, but it's still in pretty good condition. Thinking in terms of how we wanted to um, you know, help out the customer because their garage door opener was still working. The only thing is, is that they didn't have any remotes and they didn't have a wall button. So now we are able to provide this solution for them utilizing the 889LM and this thing works like a charm. It is a ideal solution for those homeowners that want to lower their costs Instead of having to replace their garage door opener, now they're just utilizing these small parts to get it up and running at its optimal state. So at the end of the day, we're just providing a solution 
within these two products specifically. And basically, I'm, I'm only talking about the 889LM with the 893 remotes. You can either go with the 893LM or the 893 Max. But the truth is, is keep it in mind is that those parts, at least the remotes, not necessarily the actual 889LM, if they ever have to upgrade or replace this garage door opener motor with a LiftMaster, well, they'll be able to use the remotes. The wall button, unfortunately, will become obsolete. But again, this door system should be working, working perfectly fine for years to come. So keeping that in mind, lowering the cost, making sure that we're using or future-proofing our garage door system is the way to go. And hopefully it is the way that you want to go. So if the 889LM sounds like a party to you, well, please check out the affiliate links down below because I believe this particular smart control panel would be perfect for those LiftMaster Chamberlain garage door opener motors that are still working or in good condition and the customer is just not ready to make that purchase, that upgraded purchase to a brand new motor. In fact, if you have a question with regards to the 889LM or any other accessory for your LiftMaster or Chamberlain garage door opener motor, please leave one down below. I'd love to be able to answer it for you. And as always, the pro tips, techniques, and ideas in these videos should not be considered law or infallible. Why? Because I am nobody. This channel is dedicated to provide you pro tips and tech reviews for all your residential garage door needs. So if you find any value in that, please hit that like button. It would really help out the channel. That's going to be it for me, party people. I want to thank you so much for parting with me. Now check out this other video right here that can provide you more pro tips and tech reviews for all your residential garage door needs. I want to thank you for watching this video. And as always, y'all stay safe.